For the last five questions of our catechism, we've been learning about Adam and Eve, our first parents on the earth God made. We've read about how Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, disobeying God's command to them. This was the first sin. Let's look at our next question. Number 17. What effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? And the answer? All mankind is born in a state of sin and suffering and with a sinful nature. But wait a minute. God said to Adam and Eve, if they ate the forbidden fruit, they would surely die. What does that have to do with you and me? Because when Adam and Eve sinned, they brought a curse into the world. The curse affected Adam and Eve, the animals, the plants, the whole universe. Listen to what the Bible book of Romans chapter 5 says. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, that's Adam, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men. The curse of Adam's sin spread like a disease from Adam to his children, to his grandchildren, and eventually to you and me. Because of this, listen to what Psalm number 51 says about us. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, that means sin, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Because Adam sinned, we are all born sinners, or in a state of sin. Adam and Eve were made without any sin, but because of the curse of Adam's sin, we are all born sinners. We're even sinners before we're born, inside our mom's belly. The book of Ephesians in chapter 2 tells us some more. We all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. This shows us that we are born with a sinful nature. That just means that disobeying God is something that comes natural to us. Nobody has to teach little kids how to disobey their mom and dad. They just know how to do it naturally, which isn't a good thing. But it gets even worse. Listen to what the book of Genesis said would happen because Adam ate the forbidden fruit. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorn and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread. Till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Because Adam sinned, we are born in a world filled with suffering. People suffer pain, they get sick, their work can be frustrating and hard. We experience sadness, and eventually we die. This world of suffering is a lot different than the beautiful garden God made for Adam and Eve. Our world is one cursed by Adam's and our sin. But there's good news. The Bible book of Galatians chapter 3 says this, Christ Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. This tells us that God sent his son Jesus to rescue us from Adam's curse. He did that by dying on the cross to pay the curse of death that we'd earned. And the Bible tells us that one day, Jesus will make our world into a brand new, curse-free place again. So let's look at our question one last time. Number 17. What effect did the sin of Adam have on all mankind? And the answer. All mankind is born in a state of sin and suffering and with a sinful nature. <laughs>